A Friday snowmaker is on the way for the Great Lakes region, and we might see more for the remainder of March. Let's talk about it. Howdy everyone, the time is 4.08 p.m. and it is March 7th. Welcome to another update from Great Lakes Weather. And we are here to talk about the upcoming snowstorm that we are seeing currently models come into agreement for on Friday. So that's coming within the next couple of days. And I'm also seeing a trend in the models where we could actually have more snowstorms through the month of March. And I think it's gonna be, as the groundhog said, six more weeks of winter, it's gonna be a longer winter. So that's gonna be something we're gonna to have to keep our eyes on and be ready for. So we're gonna dive right into it, get right into what's going on with the current models. So here is what the Weather Prediction Center's forecast is for upcoming snowfall potential. What you have here is the probability of snow accumulating greater than or equal to one inch over 24 hours, okay? Now you notice the chances of it are relatively low according to what these models are saying, but the forecast is in place that there could be some decent snow from this. According to some of the models, there could be four to eight, even some models are saying eight inches of snow being projected by this upcoming storm on Friday. Again, the models are still gonna change up to that point. But you do notice that on um, Western Michigan, if you highlight their area, you've got about a greater than 50% chance of snow anywhere along a line extending from, I'd say, um, Portage, Kalamazoo westward up until 7 a.m. on Friday. Now keep in mind that there is a little bit of confusion with these maps because they happen at such an interesting time, okay? So Friday at 7 a.m. you do see the snow potential show up here on the models and then by the time you look at also this model here for Saturday, it shows the major brunt of the snow eastward. Now, here's the thing. Since these, since these forecasts fall relatively separate from each other, you, you can't really, we can't really show where the forecast is right here just yet. But as we get closer to the event, we'll have to come back to this map once again and show exactly where the threat is. I think the main brunt of the snow is gonna fall. Once again, Southern Michigan, you've had the brunt of it. You've had a really rough go this winter, but yet there is the potential for more snow moving in to this region. And even now, I think some regions farther to the south will see snow too, um, even as possibly as far south as Fort Wayne. Models have trended a little bit south as of recent events. So let's look at that real quick. First of all, let's look at the height anomaly with what's going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere. You do notice there is a lot of ridging happening up near the poles. You have a large high pressure system sitting over the poles at the current moment. And what that's doing is that's actually displacing a lot of the um, cooler air that is in, in some of the different areas of the atmosphere. So you do notice that um, the United States is actually kind of sitting in a ridge, a lot of ridging out here in the eastern part of the United States. That's gonna sit over the area for the next few days. We're gonna have temperatures in the mid 40s over the course of the next few days, which will be rather nice for the Great Lakes region. But it looks like we could also see a few troughs build into here. You notice on Friday, there is a trough that kind of builds into the area and deepens as we get as it gets over the Great Lakes region. So I think that is gonna be our snowmaker and the northern side is where Southern Michigan falls on, which is why I think Southern Michigan has the best chance of seeing that snowfall. And then you do notice that it gets even deeper as it gets out to the east. They're actually expecting a winter storm out there possibly if the models do hold together. And then you do notice that the cooler air kind of does kind of settle in after that. Now, the cooler air, um, is surging in from the, it's gonna be not necessarily polar air, but it's gonna be rather cold air. So you do have temperatures that'll be in the 30s around freezing um, over the course of several days as these ridges just continue to kind of build in and deepen over the area. And you don't really see that there's gonna be a ridge building into parts of the Eastern United States at all as well. So it doesn't really look like you're gonna have that, um, that, that rising air, that warming air within a high pressure system. Rather, you're gonna have that sinking warming air within your trough, within your trough. So it's gonna be cooler air moving through over the course of much of March up until March 20th, do we start to see a difference in the models, the long range models at, at this point with regards to how these troughs build. So I do think it is going to be over the course of the next couple of weeks, much cooler than normal across much of the Great Lakes region. So let's look more along this current time though at the storm that is currently projected for Friday. Now Friday morning looks like to be the day 
where we see the brunt of that snow move in. You may notice it already starts to form and develop out here in parts of Iowa, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Thursday at about 10 a.m. As we show, as we, as we go forward, you notice by um, Friday at 1 a.m., mo most of the Great Lakes region is seeing snow. Northern Indiana, northern Ohio, southern Michigan, all the way up towards parts of Gaylord, Michigan, area southward are seeing snow. Now you do notice the heaviest brunt of the snow is focused once again in that sweet spot of snow this season. North Indiana, northwest Ohio, southern Michigan, seeing the brunt of that snow. You get a sounding of that snowfall according to the GFS. Now I do think it is still going to be sort of a wet snow. Not as heavy and wet though as we saw on saw last week because the temperatures are actually a little bit cooler up in the up aloft where the snow is forming. So I do think it'll be a bit of a drier snow, but with the temperature still being around the upper 20s, it can still be somewhat wet. So it'll be drier than the previous storm, but it will still be some decent snow for this area. Now, progressing it forward, you see that the snow does stick around by, so snow begins around, I'd say, early Thursday, late Thursday evening, and then it goes through and continues until Friday afternoon. Now that snow, um, could be heavy at times, particularly in this heavy band of snow. Not nearly as heavy as what we saw last Friday, but it will still be rather heavy in some spots. Moving out of the area by Friday evening into Friday night. So we'll be done with this rather quickly. Friday evening and Friday night, it'll be go over and done with across the Great Lakes region. Now some models are actually hinting at possibly even some lake effect snow on the backside along Lake Erie as we get a, a kind of a north-south breeze off that snowstorm. So that's going to be something to watch as well with these upcoming with this upcoming low pressure system. Now let's zoom in and compare models. We have the Euro model here very, showing a very similar scenario. All right. So as we get into Friday, you do see that snow starting to form in and again by about 1 a.m. Now difference between the Euro and the GFS. The Euro does show a not as much heavy snow with this. It shows that the snow would be a little bit lighter but it still does show that low beginning to deepen and increase in heaviness across parts of the Great Lakes region. And it also shows the snow shifting a little bit farther to the south. So you do have snowfall that is shifting a little bit farther to the south in parts of central Indiana, central Ohio. You get a sounding um, in southern Michigan once again. Now the difference here is that the air might be a little bit cooler than what is shown by the GFS. So still a little bit drier snow, but still enough to cause some issues. And then again, moving out Friday midday to Friday afternoon as shown by the Euro as well. Let's compare snow totals real quick. Snow totals, again, um, kind of in a broad range. Can't really pinpoint who's going to get the most snow. But I do think the group that's going to get the most snow kind of sits in this area right here that you see in the purple. I'm not going to say the numbers are correct just yet, and I'm probably, I don't, I'm probably not going to do that for a while. But you do notice that snow accumulations could be decent or they could be rather low, okay? You notice that it is gonna be enough to produce accumulating snow that sticks for a little while, but I don't, but really it's hard to tell how much snow just yet. Now the NAM is a little bit out of the water with their forecast, a lot of extreme snow farther north. I do think it's gonna be farther down to the south. All the other models outside of the NAM, NAM seems to like to play north, but as we go and we get close to the event, it does tend to shift south. So I do think these three models have a good handle as to where the heaviest snow is going to be. So I think, again, your sweet spot, again, southern Michigan, northern Indiana, those places look most likely to see the snow. We're only going to, only time will tell, and I'll continue to provide updates on this event. So make sure to subscribe, stay updated. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully this video was helpful in getting some information out to you. And stay safe out there. Enjoy the sunshine that we've had today and over the next couple of days. And then get ready for that winter storm on Friday. I will see you all later.